Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fourth graders. Our concept is converting fractions and decimals. This is part one. Remember first, fourth graders, sometimes the right path is not the easiest one. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there will be a link in the description box so that you can sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. We have our Texas Star fourth grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store, as well as our fourth grade review reading workbook, which will be released on January 28th, but you can pre-order yours today. Both links will be in the description box. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload. Now let's dive into our questions. Again, in order to follow along, you can purchase our fourth grade math review workbook. The link is in the description box. Number 11 says, a bag of snack mix weighs eight and nine hundred ounces. What decimal is equivalent to eight and nine hundredths? The first question we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? Well, that's easy. We are looking for the decimal equivalent to eight and nine hundredths. Our second most important question is, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is that we need to convert eight and nine hundredths to a decimal. Okay, since we know that, how do we solve the problem? Well, in order to convert a co fraction to a decimal that has a denominator of 100, there are two things we need to do. Step one, we're gonna write the numerator as a whole number, and our numerator is the top number, which is the nine. And then step two, we're going to move the decimal place of the nine two places to the left. This way is kind of like a hack of dividing nine by 100, as opposed to um, putting, setting up the division sign and everything, a quick way, and this goes for um, any 10 value, so 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, you can do the same thing. You basically look at the number of zeros that you have, and that is how many places you're gonna move to the left when you're trying to convert a fraction to a decimal, okay? So again, we are going to convert a fraction to a decimal. Easy peasy, since the denominator is 100, all we need to do is write the numerator as a whole number. Our numerator is nine, and then we're gonna move the decimal place two places to the left. And here's our example on the right bottom hand side, okay? We wrote nine, and then as you notice, the decimal place is right behind the nine. All whole numbers have a decimal. We just don't write it unless we need to write the decimal value of that number, okay? So we know that the decimal is right behind the nine and we need to move it two places to the left and we see our arrows. We're gonna move it one, two. Now, once we move it that second time, there's not a number in front of the nine, right? And so what we're gonna do is put a zero so that we know that it's really 0 0.09 as our answer. We haven't forgot about our whole number either. The only thing that we need to do is write our whole number. There's nothing that changes for that eight, okay? For that eight, there's nothing that changed. The only thing that we needed to focus on in order to convert our fraction is the nine and 100. 
So what is the correct answer? We know that the whole number is eight and then we already know what the fraction is converted to a decimal. So our correct answer is 8.09 or eight and nine hundredths, okay? Now let's move to question number 12. That was a pretty easy question. Number 12 says, Estelle shaded the model below to represent the height of a building that is four and eight tenths meters tall. Which fraction represents the height of this building in meters? A, four and eight tenths, B, 48 over 50, C, four and eight hundredths, or D, 48 hundredths. Okay, what's our most important question? What are we looking for? We are looking for the fraction that represents the height of the building in meters. And so our second important question is, what information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is that the building is 4.8 meters tall, okay? So since we know that, how are we gonna solve the problem? In order for us to solve the problem, what we need to do is convert 4.8 or 4 and 8 tenths to a fraction. And me saying it like that pretty much gives the answer, but that's okay. So let's look at our place value chart. We see the four, and is in the ones place and the eight is in the tenth in the tenth place. So in order for us to find the correct answer, what we need to do is this is number one, a mixed number, which means there's a whole number and a fraction. So our whole number stays the same, just like we had in our previous problem. And now instead of a fraction we're converting to um, converting from a decimal to a fraction okay since eight is in the tenths place what we need to do is look at the answer choice that shows eight in the tenths place okay what is the correct answer it is a because a shows four as our whole number, and then eight tenths, okay? Four and eight tenths is our answer. And that is it for converting fractions and decimals, part one. Remember, if you need a tutor, there will be a link in the description box for parents to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. And we have our fourth grade star math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.